What's up everyone, DGIF. Uh, today's strength and water combination is a good one. I really like this one. Uh, combination is some Olympic lifts with the dumbbells, some double unders, some body weight push-ups, and the strength we have some split squats, which we don't normally do, and single leg and leg strength exercises are super for building that strength and stability. So we'll start with the strength today. It's going to be an EMOM 10. Um, so every minute for 10 minutes, you're going to alternate split squats between the left and the right side. And the key is you're going to do these at a tempo. So four seconds on the way down and then fast on the way up. So I'll demo that right now. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a bench, a chair, a box, something that's going to elevate about 20, 18 to 20 inches. Um, to keep that back foot up off the ground. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a nice wide stance forward. We're gonna reach back with that opposite foot. Get your balance. Make sure that our foot is out wide enough that we can squat down and maintain roughly a vertical shin. And what we're gonna do is keeping our hands here, torso nice and vertical. We're going to squat down for four seconds and then explode up. One, two, three, four up fast. All right, so that's for one minute. As many as you can in a minute, rest as needed. On the second minute, we're going to switch legs. Go on to that left foot. Reach back for your chair or your bench. Torso is nice and vertical. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, four, up. Now, the key thing here is to make sure that we maintain balance. You want the bottom or the laces of your foot on whatever you're using to balance. You want your foot out just enough so that your shin can stay vertical. We don't want that knee tracking over the toe too much. And we want to make sure that our weight stays between the ball and the heel of our foot at all times. So you're going to make like an arch with your foot as you're going down to stay nice and glued to that ground. And then when we drive up, maintaining it, my toes are curled, I have a nice arch in my foot, I'm gonna drive back up through my heel using my glutes. All right, so that's 10 minutes. We're alternating legs every minute, so it's gonna be five minutes per leg. All right, feel free if it's too light, you can add some dumbbells on either side. Body weight is going to be tough enough after a few minutes. Um, alternate, if you can't do the split squat, you're having trouble balancing or getting into that position, we can just do a split squat almost in a lunge position where we're gonna go one, two, three, four, up. All right, keeping those legs split. Now, for the wad today, it's called roundabout. It's an up and back chipper style for time. What we're gonna do is 50 single arm alternating dumbbell squat cleans, 100 double unders or 150 single unders. If you don't have a jump rope, we're going to do 100 hops back and forth over your dumbbell or your odd object. Next is going to be 50 hand release push-ups from the ground, either from regular push-up or scale it down to from the knees. Then we're going to go back to 100 double unders, 150 single unders or 100 hops over your dumbbell, and then finish it off again with 50 single arm dumbbell squat cleans. So, the dumbbell squat clean, it's going to come from between your feet both heads of the dumbbell are going to touch the ground between each rep. So we're going to be here, chest is up, we're on the balls of our feet as we transfer into the heels, we explode our hips, and we're down into a squat with that dumbbell in the front rack position. We're going to switch hands, come down, alternating each rep on those squat cleans with that dumbbell. All right, next is the hops. If you have a jump rope, it's either double unders or single unders. If you're doing your hops, it's going to be one, two, three, four. Obviously, it's faster than that. It's gonna look like this. All right, for 100 reps. And then we're getting down into the hand release push-ups. So we're gonna be on the ground in the push-up position arms fully extended, we come down to the ground, we pick the hands up slightly, and then we press back up. Now from the knees, your feet are going to be up, your knees are going to be on the ground, down, pick up slightly, 
and press back up. Elbows always stay at 45 degrees as always and work it through 50 reps of that. Next we go back to the 100 double unders or 100 hops and then we finish it off with those 50 alternating dumbbell squat cleans, switching arms each rep. Alright, so nice up and back chipper today, involving some Olympic lifts. It's going to use a lot of strength, a lot of stamina on the double unders. Those hand release push ups are definitely going to get hard, and your legs are probably going to be a little bit burnt out from the strength. So, overall, great workout today. Good for a Friday, getting ready for that weekend. Hopefully, the nice weather is on its way. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, send me a text. Otherwise, get after it today. Let's see those scores, and we'll see you tomorrow.